Hey, we are here with another update with, for you actually. This is uh, one of the first updates we've done in about four weeks and that's because the system we were using previously is no longer available to us. So here we go. Last night there were airstrikes from Israel or allegedly by Israel on Damascus and the Syrian air defense missile system was activated and it did fire missiles. Um, however, these missiles landed, uh, were detonated rather, um, above the Mediterranean Sea, and there were fragments of these missiles found in Israel. As you can see, North Tel Aviv. Uh, there they are. They didn't cause any damage at all, but they were fired in defense of the airstrikes that took place there. Now, the IDF has neither confirmed nor denied as to whether it was Israel that conducted these airstrikes however it is highly likely that it was now we know from previous reports that Russia has told Israel basically keep out of Syrian airspace um, clearly they didn't or they ignored this and they conducted these airstrikes as to where this will lead we will have to watch and wait and we basically know that anything regarding Damascus is news that we should watch why is it news we should watch well that's because Damascus is in prophecy and it is prophesied that Damascus will be destroyed it is a prophecy that we can clearly uh, identify when it happens and is and, and it is one that will happen without a doubt the Bible says it will happen then it will happen will this be the beginning of Damascus being destroyed that's yet to be seen I mean we haven't seen any response yet from uh, Russia or anyone else regarding the airstrikes apart from the defensive uh, missiles that were sent by the Syrian air missile system now that doesn't mean that this small spark that has happened can't ignite into something much greater of course it can everything has the ability to become uh, something that grows beyond what it initially started out to be we will have to just wait and see as to whether this start of Damascus being destroyed again we don't know at this point now I said in the beginning it's been about four weeks since our last video and there has been a lot that has happened in this time uh, Joe Biden he is conveniently displayed down there on the screen Joe Biden he decided to take the American troops out of Afghanistan literally overnight and in doing so what happened is he basically left Afghanistan in the hands of the Taliban and we have all witnessed the news and we have seen what has happened and we can see that now Taliban has control of Afghanistan we have also seen that Joe Biden left them Black Hawk helicopters he left them miss uh, not missiles so he left them uh, weapons he left them military vehicles, he left them drones and various other things such as biometric data which is now being used by the Taliban to target those people whom had helped America whilst they were in Afghanistan. So basically what's happened here is it's been a monumental failure although Joe Biden claims it is a success he sent troops back into Afghanistan to evacuate people and those troops lost their lives as a result if you can call that a success then you are clearly clearly not in touch with reality now there's many people in Afghanistan who fear for their lives there are Christians in Afghanistan who are now in fear for their lives as well the people uh, that would help America 
uh, with translating etc their details have been stored on this system their biometric data and other um, let's say sensitive information about these people is within this system which is now in the hands of the Taliban this is very dangerous for those people their lives are at risk it was a careless careless mission to withdraw the American troops from Afghanistan either way what it has done ultimately is it has armed the enemies of Israel not just the Taliban because there is a high probability that some of this equipment and weapons may end up in the hands of the enemies of Israel what else has happened is it has determined America's position as a world leader America is now perceived as weak when it comes to the Middle East and also generally within the world America is being viewed as as being asleep and I mean literally if you have seen the video of Joe Biden falling asleep during his meeting with the Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett this could very much be an indication of the um, relationship now between America and Israel I wouldn't think that Israel would rely on America to have their back it is highly likely that Israel is now on their own and this is the prime time for the enemies of Israel surrounding Israel to prepare for an attack one which could be what results in the war prophesied of in Ezekiel and America is not mentioned in this war and there is a reason for that because if you think about it America has always generally has always had Israel's back and if Israel were to be attacked by all of their enemies at one time surely America would step in there's a reason why America will not step in and it's because God is going to step in for Israel God will destroy the enemies of Israel and he will defend Israel and he will be glorified in doing so so that is the uh, the update for today we really do appreciate you tuning in here um, we will come back to you with more videos as and when we get news we uh, of course encourage you to leave your thoughts in the comments below so that we can get your your understanding of the situation and the news that you are viewing also but until then as uh, the word tells us look up for your redemption draws near yes Jesus Christ Yeshua will be back soon and we are looking forward to that day when he returns to take us home if you haven't given your life to Jesus don't delay any further because we do not know how long it will be until he returns do that today that will be the smartest decision you have ever made um, I mean it was the greatest decision that I ever made and no doubt about it anyone that has ever given their life to him um, that would be the point in their life that they would define I am sure as the one point that changed everything for them completely anyway that's it for us today we will be back soon and we really do appreciate you spending time with us here on this news report <laughs>